Welcome back to another episode of Firebase Deep Dives. Today, we're going to look at Firestore vector embedding support. What are vector embeddings? I'm glad you asked. Embeddings are a numerical representation of non-numerical content, such as images, words, or phrases. This allows machine learning tools to ingest this information and understand the complex relationship between these numbers to help derive meaning behind them. A vector, on the other hand, is a pointer in a multi-dimensional space. For example, the coordinates of Baltimore are a two-dimensional vector that expresses the location of Baltimore using its longitude and latitude. So a vector embedding is an array of floating point numbers representing multiple dimensions of an image, word, or entire sentences. So that is vector embeddings. Now that you know what these vector embeddings are, how and why would you want to use them? Well, once these embeddings are computed into arrays, we can compare them using an algorithm called K nearest neighbors. As an example, let's look at food. Let's imagine I want to decide what to eat for dessert. If I like the sweetness of a banana, then apples and cookies are my closest alternatives. And if I like the crunchiness of almonds, well, I'm out of luck with this data set. This is just a simple example with a few dimensions, but vector embeddings can have many hundred such values. So embeddings turn a domain specific problem, like say comparing pieces of text into a math problem of comparing vectors. Now computers are really good at math, even more so if you use GPUs. These are custom made chips that can perform matrix operations, like computing the similarity of two vector embeddings really fast. By comparing the semantic similarity of phrases, images, and videos, we can determine whether they are related or distinct. This enables us to classify content faster, search for relevant information, and provide recommendations based on your preferences, tags, content, and other metadata. Pretty cool, right? Now that you know what vector embeddings are and how to use them, let's generate some. Here's my Cloud Firestore event-driven function. It generates the latest embeddings anytime some review text is updated. First, I listen to the on-document written event on my reviews collection. I then grab the before and after text value from the document to compare them. If the after text is null, I know that the document was likely deleted rather than updated, so I skip computing the embedding. If the after text and before text do differ, I then calculate my embedding. You can use any embedding model you like. In my case, I'm using Embedding Gecko from Vertex AI. There's a documentation link below that explains how to use it. I then add the embedding to my database so we can later run our K nearest neighbors search against the embedding. Let's see embedding generation in action right now. I go to my Firebase console and in the Firestore tab, I create a new collection. I name the new collection reviews, which matches my Firebase function on document written listener. I then write a new document with a text of, this is my favorite place to eat. Once that document is written to the database, all I have to do is wait a brief moment for my cloud function trigger to update the document with a computed vector value. Wonderful. I can now automatically generate vector embeddings for new documents in my reviews collection. To query the embeddings, I first need to create a composite index using the gcloud command. If you don't remember the correct syntax for this command, here's a cool trick. You could just try running a query that requires a composite index. Firestore will then tell you that it needs a composite index and shows you the exact command. My index generation looks like this. I need to specify the collection and the dimensions of my vector embeddings field. Since I am using embedding gecko from Vertex AI, the default dimensions are 768 floating point numbers in my vector. If you want to know how to generate a composite index for your embeddings, I'll leave the documentation link in the description below. Now I just need to run this gcloud command in my terminal and I'm good to go. Cool. Now I'll run a query like this to retrieve answers about my reviews in my collection. I start by generating a vector embedding for my query to the database since a nearest neighbor search will compare two vector embeddings with each other. Once I have this, I call find nearest neighbor against my reviews collection to determine the nearest result to my query based on the document and query. I start by specifying the field which stores my vector embeddings and pass in the vector that I am searching against. I then specify my nearest neighbor algorithm type. The different distance measurements have some math behind each one. 
So it's up to me to determine which is a good fit for my use case. I can pick from Euclidean distance or cosine distance. Euclidean distance is great at measuring the straight line distance between two objects in vector space. This is great when the dimensions of your vectors have similar magnitudes across their dimensions, which will likely place objects closer together. Euclidean distance can be used to help to determine clustering of topics that are similar based on their content. Cosine distance is great at measuring the angular distance, which can determine if the two vectors are at least positioned in a similar direction. For instance, both vectors may not be in the same ending location, but have similar dimensions that make them appear to go the same direction in vector space. Cosine distance measurements are great for information retrieval and for semantic similarity searches. I'll go ahead and specify cosine distance since I'm retrieving Firestore documents about people's food choices. I'll also limit my results to the top 100 nearest neighbors. Finally, I specify a distance threshold, so all my results must be within a certain distance of my query. This can vary for each type of query you make, so you can optionally specify this. As a check, I also optionally specify the output distance result field. This allows me to confirm whether my distance results make sense for my use case. Let's run this code snippet and check out the results. As you can see, the results show that as the review text moves away from specific food items, which is what my query into the reviews was about, the reviews show a further distance in the nearest neighbor search, showing that they are less similar. Using vector embeddings with k-nearest neighbor search is the foundation to building retrieval, augmentation, generation, or RAG applications. This allows you to implement exciting use cases in your app that were very difficult to implement without AI, like product recommendations, similarity search, or even semantic search. If you wanna learn more about building apps that can fully take advantage of vector embeddings in Firebase, check out some of our docs on GenKit, Firebase's generative AI framework for building apps. I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you build next.